Yeah, man. Knock only sets. Contra. Proverbs chapter 9. We in swag frequency right now, man. Fault back. Because we're talking about mama. Ama. Alawa. Shabbat shalom. Wisdom has built her house. <laughs> Wisdom has built her house. Oh, mama can't have mama can't have her house. <laughs> He's not gonna try to act like mama don't exist. Mama's just some earthly mama. Where's mama's house? Just on the earth. <laughs> Mama got a house, okay. Proverbs chapter 9. Let's go. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has prepared her meat. She has mingled her wine. She has furnished her table. She has sent forth her maidens. She calls upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is thoughtless. Let him turn to here. You thoughtless. You must be thoughtless if you ain't thinking about Ama. Oh yeah, we ain't gonna let you forget. That mama is everything. Mama is all that. And mama is your breath, your framer, the ingredients that puts a fine meal together, my nun. We just popping off, because they just now tuning in. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. Man, she got her seven pillars. Cities of go oh, 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 oh. She has prepared her meat or her veggies, you know, translation. <laughs> she has mingled her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has sent forth her maidens. She calls upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is thoughtless, let him turn to ear. As for him that lacks understanding, she says to him, come. Eat my bread and drink of the wine which I have made. Mm. So, Mama got her bread and she got her wine. Like I said, translations. They said she has prepared her meat. Like she just sacrificed a bunch of animals. Nah, man. Nah, Mama. They're talking about her bread, man. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 5. Come eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake all thoughtlessness and live. But you so thoughtless, you forgot you was thoughtless. Because you ain't thought of mama in a long time. It might seem like we adding something to you because you thoughtless. You forgot about Ama. You thought... You thought, you thought Pops is just popping off, just, you know, no one to delight in, no one to delight in. Proverbs chapter 8 talk about how mama delights, wisdom delights. Hawa, Hawa is delighted in the presence. Mama dances before Hawa, dances before our father. That puts it together, that's your frame of shape. But you must be thoughtless if you forgot. We all forgot. We let them teach us. We let them tell the story. They said, oh, that's just wisdom. But 
but they never even speak about her. Never speak about Amma. We must be thought. Whoso is thoughtless, let him turn to hear. As for him that lacks understanding, Mama says to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake all thoughtlessness, and live and walk in the way of understanding. He that corrects a scorner gets to himself shame. And he that reproves a wicked man, it becomes unto him a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he'll love you. Man, this is mama talking. The Wada Ama. Mama got her house. Lest you forgot, you must have been thoughtless. Mama breaking bread. You came to Mama to get that bread. You thought you just had your daddy's bread? You thought daddy made the bread? Mama got the ingredients. Mama made the bread. She has furnished her table. She has sent forth her maidens and calls upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is thoughtless, let him turn to hear. As for him that lacks understanding, you don't get it. My naga, you don't get mad. You don't get mad, you don't get it. Mama said, just come and eat the bread. You thought your father had to bring. You must be thoughtless. All praise our framer and our shape. She who makes that fine meal puts the ingredients together. Mama who can take them threads and wool, you know, weave a fine, a fine cloth with the threads, you know. Mama is the bread. <sighs> it's mama. Every time you, <sighs> that's mama. You did. You, you take mama in vain. That's just your earthly mama. That's just mother earth to you. What about the elements that the earth is made of? That's mom. Them elements only connect to the earth. Underneath the firmament, them elements don't come from the greater light. Hey, that greater light? That's mama. Mama is beautiful. Yeah, see, they can't see beyond that greater light. Mama, it, it blinds them, you know. When mama's on bling bling, mama blind. Mama blinds the hijack. The hijack can't see into that Shekinah. It's too brilliant. Her light's too brilliant. It's too beautiful for the hijack to lay eyes on. The hijack don't get to get none of this mama. This mama's for you. Mama said, come eat of my bread. That doesn't go against your father's bread. She's just telling you where to get the bread. And the wine which I have made will come come dig on this. Forsake all thoughtless, thoughtlessness and live. Because if you thoughtless, you don't got mama in your heart ball. You taking your breath in vanity. Ain't that breaking the cone? Hawa's name in vain? Mama has mingled this wine, this flow, this way. Mama has mingled this way. Forsake all thoughtlessness and live. Walk in the way of understanding. He that corrects a scorner.
gets to himself shame. Ain't that something? Cause you know we we fall short, my naga. Sometimes we try to con sometimes we try to correct nagas that are scorning us. Sometimes we try to correct nagas that got disdain in their heart, covetousness in their heart. You can't correct no scorner, man. A naga's popping off at the lip. A naga's just scorning and, and putting negative vibrations towards what you're doing. A naga don't want to see the fruit. You can't correct that type of naga. He that corrects a scorner gets to himself shame. You only bring shame to yourself. Because ain't no good cause from correcting no scorner. And he that reproves a wicked man, it becomes unto him a block. You, got, you jam yourself up trying to correct somebody that's wicked. What does it mean to be wicked? That means you ain't KTC. You out of code. That's not no religion. That's a frequency. Outside of that frequency is wickedness. Outside of that frequency is evil, twistedness. Because that frequency unwinds you. It untwists you, my naga. You're able to be in a free flow. You're able to flow. You're not caught in a snare. And you haven't become a blot. And you haven't brought to yourself shame by correcting a, a scorner. Someone who puts another power beside their power. Before their power. Someone that doesn't keep Shabbat, my naga that doesn't rest with Hawaii, they're not tapping in. So the only thing that's, it's Hawaii or it's nothing, man. It's not religious. It's the greater light. The greater light got a code of frequency. You tap in, that's called righteousness. But you know it by the fruit of that righteous man or woman, by that righteous tribe. You know their fruit. You see their fruit. Ain't no fruit. Ain't no flow. Out of code, you see that fruit. They can't hide it. You can't hide your fruit. Man, reprove not a scorner, verse 8. Lest he hate you. See what I'm saying? It only gets worse. You see that someone wants to scorn. You see that somebody got disdain, some personal, you know, deep-rooted hatred. You know what I'm saying? Like, once, once you see that, you can't correct it. That brings hate, that brings shame. Because he will, lest he hate thee, reprove a wise man, and he will love thee. And that's how you, you gotta flow. You a wise naga is in code. So, you know, you could talk to them, you can, you know what I'm saying, build with them, you know what I'm saying? Because they're gonna love you for that correction. Especially when it's code related correction, not Conjecture, you know what I'm saying? But real solid drop that raises their frequency. Everybody wants to get their vibration raised up. A wise naga wants to know, wants to build, wants to grow. Give to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a righteous man, verse 9, and he will increase in learning. The fear of Hawaii is the beginning of wisdom. To be fear, are we talking about being obedient, respecting your creator? Again, you and your house, it's not about getting your children to fear you, but to respect your work, you know what I'm saying? To respect themselves, the code, the flow of your home. Once they have that, you know, it's not about being afraid of you, but taking you serious, taking you know, having that deep reverence, right? So they translate fear, what we know as deep reverence for our Hawaii. You, Hawaii doesn't want you running away from your your mama, daddy, you know? Abba, Abba, Ama, Abba don't want you running away from the frequency out of fear because you fear the creator, but you respect, you run towards that because you're wise. And a wise man, a wise sister gets wiser. A wise sister, a wise brother will love you 
for that reproof, for that, for that AHA, for that correction, for that, for that growth, for that Zion that you're taking the time to build with them, they're going to Ahab you for that. So that Ahab you got with Hawa is the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning of you really connecting my life. But you want to go and try to tribe up without having that connection. You haven't tribed up with yourself. And you definitely haven't tribed up with the creator. And you can't tribe up with others if you're not tribed up already with yourself and Hawa. Or else you're just going to bring shame because it's going to be some type of scorning, some type of envy, some type of covenant, something out of code, something out of order. You got to get in order, my Nagi. Love your Nagas enough to get in order first with Hawa, with yourself. Love your Nagas. If you truly, if you truly love your tribe, you would get that together first. You would get that order flowing first so you don't bring no hijack, you know what I'm saying, from you. You know what I mean? Then once you got that order, allow a while you ready. You know when you ready, you ready to go. Let's pop off. What y'all need, all hands in. You know, we building a fence, let's go. We popping off. And shout out to Joy World, all my contributors, A hop to you, con up to you. We building a fence, blue, purple, red, right after Shabbat. Get right back in that go funny, my noggy, and let's get to our goal. Allow Hawaii. Hey, we're more than halfway. So, <laughs> and we about to put boots on the ground. My now again, feels good having this conversation with the cons and they're getting ready and they, they're excited, man. Like, it's something that we know is going to last, you know, for generations. We know that this is something that's going to be a true mark for us, for our families. I'm not speaking just biblical or religious or, or God, God's going to do this. I'm just saying for us, for our families, regardless of what you think and what this is, this is real boots to the ground. This is real building, you know what I'm saying? We're building for our families. We're building for our tribe and we appreciate the AI. We salute and we're grateful for the AI to allow us to hit this first checkpoint to build our fence, to hit this mark. Hey, with our creator, we're only getting wiser. We're only increasing. Hit the water for your increase and your contribution. Allow water drop nation. And all the dragons on the wall, they hop to you. All the sponsors at 432, they hop to you. Hey, this is to knock on these sessions. We just getting started because they just tuned in there. Hey. Teach a righteous man, a righteous, a righteous sister. She will increase and learn. He will increase in learning. And that obedience for Hawa is the beginning of wisdom. That KTC is your beginning. You're ready to go, my God. It's your beginning. It's your true rebirth. That's your true baptism. Get baptized in the fire. That's Shekinah. We're talking mama. And the knowledge of the all holy is understanding. For by me, your days shall be multiplied. By who? This is mama talking. This is mama talking. Christians, this, this is mama talking. Y'all ain't factored in mama. You talking Ruach, Hakodesh, and you ain't talking mama. You ain't talking breath. You must be thoughtless. Because mama say, by me, your day shall be multiplied. Okay, verse 6, forsake all thoughtlessness, all thoughtlessness. That means all your thoughts need to be meditating on your flow with Ama and Abba. You got to come home. We're talking about a house, a frame and a shaper that frames and shapes. One drop. Mama's in the way of understanding. Mama's in the way of righteousness. That's Hawa's way. That's our, that's our shaper's way. That's our father's way. That's our mother's way. But mama speaks for herself. I ain't got to bring it up. I don't have to add nothing when it's right here in your face bone. We don't have to be adding mama to our father. She's already delighting Hawa. She's already 
delighting our father. She's already, you know what I'm saying, popping off, dancing and enjoying the flow with. She's the first of his works. You want to talk elements? She's before all that. <laughs> Mama's the first of the works of the shape. He had to get straight with his his woman first. He had to see eye to eye with Mama before popping off anything else. That's a house, man. But Mama saying, verse one, what? Wisdom has built her house. Hewn out her seven pillars. Uh oh. Yeah. She prepared that bread. She said, Eat of my bread. Verse 11 For by me your days shall be multiplied, and the years of your life shall be increased. If you are wise, then you are wise for thyself. And if you if you scorn, thou alone shall bear it. You want to be a scorner? You want to hold that disdain? You want to hurt Nagas? You alone shall bear it. All that energy you put now, you alone shall bear it. I can't make this up. Mama's talking. If you are wise, verse 12, thou art wise for thyself. And if you scornest, thou shalt, thou alone shalt bear it. Verse 13. The woman folly is riotous. She is thoughtless and knows and knows nothing. And she sits at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city to call to them that pass by who go right on their ways. We're talking about unrighteous sisters, right? This unrighteous sister, that that is riotous. She is thoughtless. She knows nothing, but you can't tell her nothing because she thinks she knows everything. And she sits at the door of her house on a seat in the high place of the city to call to them that pass by. She just hijacking people left and right, going from place to place. Who go right on their ways. Whoso is thoughtless. Let him turn in here. Turn in hither. As for him that lacks understanding. She says to him. Stolen waters are sweet. And bread eaten in secret places is pleasant. But he knows not. That the shades are there. That her guests. Are in the depths. Of the nether world. I mean, it gets real when you talk about, you know, ox and aqua, you know what I mean? Trying to formulate, trying to build, but you got scorners <laughs> and you got the aquas that, you know, they come with poison. They come with a smile, <laughs> but they really got a dagger, you know what I'm saying? You don't know anyone's intentions, you know, so... We need mama, we need wisdom, we need to come home to our ma, because mama has built her house. We're talking about building. Mama built the house and, you know, mama gave uh, Nehemiah the drop to build a wall. We're talking about building a wall. Nehemiah chapter 4. Let's get this for the dismount. Oba. Lawa. It came to pass that when Sanballat heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these 
feeble Jews? Will they restore at will? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end this day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbish, seeing they are burned? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn back their reproach again upon their own head, and give them upon to spoiling in the land of captivity. Whoa! We're talking scorners, right? <laughs> From Proverbs 9 to Nehemiah 2. I mean, excuse me, Nehemiah 4. And here they are scorning and chastising, you know what I'm saying, the Ebo rule for, for building that wall. They're saying, oh, man, what you gonna do, man? Uh, you know, rebuild them burnt up stones over there, man. What you gonna do, man? You, you gonna uh, revive the stones out of the heaps of rubbish and <laughs> seeing that they are burnt? Man, what you gonna do, man? That, that wall over there is so weak, man. If a fox go up, that thing gonna fall down. Ha, ah, ha, ha. Nehemiah says, Hear a why, for we are despised. We're being scorned at. Mocked. And turn back their reproach upon their own head and give them up to spoiling in the land of captivity. Oh, man. Nehemiah put a curse on them boy head, boy. <laughs> and cover not their iniquity. And let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have vexed you before the builders. So we built the wall. And all the wall was joined together unto half the height thereof. For the people had a mind to work. My knock is showing up. All hands all deck. But it came to pass that when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites, all oh, them, man, confederacy, right? And they all look alike. They all look like you, my noggin. And when they heard that the repairing of the walls of Jerusalem went forward and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth. And they conspired, conspired, <laughs> confederacy. They conspired all of them together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause confusion thereof. But we made our prayer to Hawa and set a watch against them day and night because of them. We set a watch against them day and night. And Judah said, the strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed and there is much and there is much rubbish so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversary said, they shall not know, neither see till we come into the midst of them and slay them and cause the work to cease. And if it came, and it came to pass when the Jews that dwelt by them came, they said unto us 10 times, you must return unto us from all places. Therefore set I in the lowest parts of the space behind the wall in the open places. And I even set the people after their families with their swords. <laughs> we ain't talking bow and arrows, my naga. All these swords and kalelus. So I set the people after their families with their swords, their spears and bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not you afraid of them. Remember Hawah, who is great and awful, and fight for your brethren, your sons, and your daughters, your wives, and your houses. Like the bro Yohan to say, Hey, <laughs> when it go up, it really go up. To say in a mythological go up. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're training for. That's why you in the dojo <laughs> with my man Judah, the great Jedi, training you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hitting with them, you know, first two knuckles, you know what I'm saying? Getting your deflect on, getting your chi up, you know what I'm saying? Because this is real spin in real time. Let's go. And 
And I looked, verse 8, Nehemiah 4, and I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and the rest of the people, Be not you afraid of them. Remember Hawa who was great and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your aquas, your wives, and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemy heard that it was known unto us and Hawaii had brought their counsel to nothing that we returned all of us to the wall every one into his work and it came to pass from that time forth that half of my servants wrought in their work and half of them held the spears the shields the bows the coats of mail and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah talking about building a wall in Nagaville and we start with a fence until it becomes a wall he said half the builders work on the wall the other half hold your shields and hold your bows and hold your spears hold your swords <laughs> in this day man hey you know make sure you hold your you know what I mean <laughs> make sure you held you held it up <laughs> you held it up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man, make sure you got whatever safety devices you need. That's all we say. I'm all praise the why. Because we're building a wall. And the haters gonna hate and the scorners gonna scorn. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got a full wall of protection. We got we got full Dracons popping off, you know, with the Dracon, Dracon fire to make sure our wall get built. And I said unto the nobles and to the rulers and the rest of the people, the work is great and large. And we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place soever you hear the sound of the horn, resort you thither unto us. O Hawa will fight for us. Yeah. See the builders, verse 12, the builders, <laughs> they that built the wall and they that bore burdens ladded themselves every one with one of his hands wrought in the work and with the other held his weapon. And the builders, every one had his sword girded by his side and so built. And they said, Hawa will fight for us. So we wrought in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising in the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time, said I unto the people, Let every one with his servant lodge within Harushalayim, that in the night they may be a guard for us, and many labor in the day. So neither I nor my brothers, my sisters, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard that followed me, None of us put off our clothes. Everyone that went to the water had his weapon. Ready, my naga. Popping off in Nagaville. Because sometimes it be like that when you're building a wall for joy work. Shout out to my 500 cold keepers. Keeping the water flowing. Because even when we get that water, we still got to hold our weapon. And we know our Shabbat is a weapon. So Shabbat Shalawah. Get your rest, get your Zion. And enjoy that water. And be weaponized, my naga. KTC. M-H-O-E. Tripping in that ma'am sauce. Allah Wah.